pretend Peter has Facebook. He posts a picture of himself, he's pretty proud of it. You know, I got 17th place out of 18 in the running. And the next kid to comment, I'm just, you know, the next kid to comment says, wow, like that's also second last and you're such a loser. We're finding that young people are using social media at a, at a pretty young age. And um, so we talked to them about what that could mean and their posts and who sees them, where they go and try to just give them the information so that they can protect themselves online. Who has Snapchat? Right, who uses Snapchat for their normal communication with We do find that sometimes kids will post images of themselves and if it is on a social platform, the kind of comments that can come about as a result of that uh, very well-intentioned post could turn kind of ugly if the comments go in that direction. Um, anytime there are comments made where, where there's that lack of face-to-face -face communication, um, then things can go um, badly pretty quickly. And so how that results in a, in a child's ability to cope with that situation we like to make sure that they know where the supports are that, um, that are available to them to help them deal with that and how to move forward and, and fix the situation and feel better. Also, if kids, sometimes kids do fall into the trap of sending an image, um, they'll get coerced into sending uh, an, I mean, perhaps an intimate image, which we do see, and how that can affect a young person um, when they feel like they are now being manipulated or exploited as a result of that image being shared. Um, and sometimes they don't know. They don't know that, that it's not their fault, that there is help available, there is a way to help manage that situation. So we like the message to be really strong that if something has happened online that, that you know doesn't feel right, then you need to talk to a trusted adult, somebody that can help you and support you and try and manage the situation so that it doesn't become overwhelming. So I'm glad that we're in here and given an opportunity to add our two cents about the dangers that are associated with, uh, with using social media.